Hi everybody, this is Marnock, and I'm camping this weekend. It's great. It's beautiful weather. There's my setup. I already showed you that last time. This is actually the campsite that my Boy Scout troop that I am the Scoutmaster of now camps at for summer camp. And I want to show you where I set up. Every morning I wake up to that view, and it couldn't be better. So today, the video, I'm going to show you how I set up a compass course for scouts. And you can use this with any group, as long as you know rudimentary compass skills. And I'm gonna show you how I set up the course, and I'm gonna have our scouts run the course this afternoon and see how they do. So, stay tuned. Okay, we're getting ready to start plotting out our course here. And the first thing you gotta do is have kind of rudimentary idea of how to use a compass. So I'm gonna show you the way I was taught um, those of you might have a different method or a different kind of compass you use. I'm going to be using my grandfather's compass. Uh, he was issued this by the army in World War II and it was good enough for them. And I love this compass because of the way I was taught to use a compass. So this is how I use a compass. So this one's pretty simple. If you look, there's an arrow that points north. There's a red part of the needle that always points north. And I'm going to make this arrow in the front here face the landmark that I'm going to walk towards and then I'm going to adjust that needle and make sure I hold the compass flat I'm going to adjust that needle so that it's it's in north and I'm holding the holding it right here so it's kind of difficult to do with one hand but now if I look right there that tells me what direction I'm going so I'm going to write down on the paper for the directions go it looks like 146 degrees is the direction we're heading if this is the direction I am going, and then I'm gonna count the paces. Now the thing to remember about paces is not every step is a pace. A pace is actually two steps. So when you're counting it, and when you're giving the instructions to the people that are running the course, whether it's a youth group or scouts, or even just having fun with your friends, if you like doing compass work, uh, you have to make sure that they know that a pace is two steps, and not everybody's paces are the same length. So a lot of people will pace off and they'll know how you know they'll give you a distance and they'll be oh it's this this far it's it's a hundred meters and you'll know oh 100 meters that's X number of paces for me I keep it a little bit simpler because I'm working with kids so I pace it off and I try to step about the size that they will but on each landmark I put a target so they know all right I go that number of paces and right in that area if I went rent, went the right direction I'm gonna find the target in this particular compass course, the target's gonna have a number so that they go to them in order. Um, because last time we did this, they saw one and they thought, oh, that's the one I'm going to, and they missed it, and we had a group that was off in the woods looking for a target because they skipped one, and they went the wrong direction. And we're also gonna have a riddle that they have to answer. So they have to write down the number, and they have to write down the answer to the riddle that we put on the target. For the targets, and I'll show you what they are in a few minutes here, um, for the targets, what we use is I've got some mailer envelopes that are self-adhesive. They you know, have the, you peel it off and we cut those into strips and we wrap it around a branch or a tree or a post. They're bright white, they're easy to see. Um, they stick to themselves, so they stick to the tree very well or they stick, you don't actually stick it to the tree, you stick it to itself wrapped around something and they're easy to take down because after everybody finishes the course, me and the other person that are setting the course are going to go back through and we're going to make sure all of it is collected up and disposed of because we don't want to leave our trash in the woods. We, uh, we leave no trace. We make sure that the, the environment is as good as or better than we found it when we leave. So we're going to start setting a course here and I'm going to find my first uh, target. So this is one of the uh, markers that we're setting out and we put a riddle on it. This one says... I'm tall when I'm young and short when I'm old, and the people running the course have to find the answer to that riddle. So uh, if you know the answer to that one, put it in the comments. All right, so you gotta make sure that the people who are running the course are actually paying attention. And what we did to trick them up, and please excuse the gunfire, they're doing range training, is we put, this is marker number eight, um, and there's the riddle for it. It's what kind of tree can you hold in your hand? Again, feel free to answer in the comments if you feel like it. But what we made them do is if you look back this direction, they have to pass a, a flagpole back there that has the ninth marker. So they have to walk right past that to get to this one. 
and then do a 180 degree turn and go back to that one. And if you're not paying attention to the numbers or if you're not counting the paces, you'll stop at that one thinking it's number eight and you'll end up going the wrong direction and get lost. So that's how we trick them up and uh, make sure they're paying attention and actually reading their compass and doing the course. So overall, I think it's very successful for the compass course. We have most of our teams returned and now we're walking through and taking up all the markers because we don't want to leave a trace. We want to make sure we get all the trash off the uh, trees. But so far the kids have had a lot of fun. They Interesting answers to the riddles. Uh, some of them not quite right, but some of them very creative. So it's a fun activity to do if you've got a scouting group or a youth group. Set a compass course. So when we were packing up from camp, we encountered something that I want to make a bit of a public service announcement about. And that is this right here. <laughs> In my mind, there are two things that are wrong with that little short clip. One was the fact that that fire is still hot, still burning. There's still glowing embers in there, and that can easily spark a forest fire. The other part of it is they didn't clean out the fire pit at all. There's a mountain of ash and, and burning coals still that need to be put out properly, and the ash needs to be spread properly so that the next camper that uses that campsite doesn't have to spend the first three hours of their, their trip cleaning out a fire pit. So please take care of your fire pit. Please take care of the forest and have fun out there.